attend to viewers in Liberia and across the globe. Hello and welcome to KMTV News Update. My name is Anthony Kukui. The Parent Teachers Association of the Sotelmo Christian School System has condemned in Liberia unfortunate the flogging of a female student at the institution. The student was alleged to have been beaten 100 latches for misconduct by the suspended dean of student Solomon Dry Jr. Addressing the news conference on Sunday, Sotelmo PTA Special Committee described the act as inhuman, but at the same time called on the public not to panic as corrective measures have been put in place to avoid recurrence. To this development now, Vice President Joel Howard Taylor has challenged Liberian children to remain focused and work hard in realizing their full potential. Speaking at the first annual commencement ceremony of the Liberian Youth Orchestra, VP Taylor encouraged the talented kids to build self-esteem and work hard in ensuring that Liberia becomes a better place. She urged them to strive for bigger goals and go beyond their current assignment in an effort to make the difference in society. And now to the Liberian National Police, the LMP has disclosed an administrative action to include dismissal and suspension among that's against four of its officers. The decision, according to Deputy Police Inspector General for Administration, comes in the wake of alleged that's illegal action demonstrated at Kingsville Township in Magibi that led to several injuries and one death. Deputy Inspector General Siadiati Reese told reporters Monday that the police recent action is against the normal code of duties of the Liberal National Police. The justification provided by these four officers that they had this to discharge live bullets in the danger is a complete contradiction of the Liberian National Police policies and international standards on the use of firearm by, by, by law enforcement officers. According to police best practice, if the subject officers reasonably believe that their lives were in danger, they should have put stop to the threat by shooting directly to the targets, which endangered their lives and the lives of others in line with the use of force continuum. And the option to discharge life bullets in the air lacks necessity, reasonability, proportionality, and right judgment. The administration of the Liberian National Police has taken the following action. The accused officers, Inspector Morris M. Dunn, ID number 0784, Sergeant Emmanuel S. Malikimu, ID number 0765, Patrolman Thompson W. Pablo, or Pablo, ID number 2680, and Patrolman Josephus M. Lewis, ID number 4537, are being appropriately disrobed interdicted with two-thirds salary payment in accordance with Part 5, Section 2.21, uh, Letter H of the Liberia National Police Act of 2015 and turned over to the uh, Crime Services Department for criminal investigation for discharging their firearms illegally, which resulted in the serious bodily injuries of three persons um, and the death of Abraham Tumi, and subsequently leading um, to the death of Abraham Tumi at uh, Dusa Hospital. Meanwhile, Deputy Inspector General Reese has confirmed that the LMP has arrested and sent to court three suspects for their alleged involvement into a foul play bodies of two children in Kingsville, Maggie County. The Liberian National Police has investigated, charged, and forwarded to court two suspects, Samia Sayon. And P. Molba Yampakolo circumstantially with murder. On June 3, 2019, suspects Francis Dennis, age 32, Joma Dolo, age 38, Amos Poloma, age 49, and P. Molba Yampakolo, age 65, were arrested in the Kingsville community following the discovery of the decomposed bodies of the missing children. During the police preliminary investigation, there were several allegations and accusations made by some residents of Kingsville. 
Township, number seven. But these allegations and accusations of the involvement of suspect Francis Dennis, Joe Mandolo, and Amos S. Coloma are yet to be established. It was revealed that two children identify as Thomas Cully and Elijah Coloma residents of Kingsville Township, Montserrat County, was sent by their grand, the guidance, Benu Boyka, grandmother of Thomas Cully, and Gamme Daniels, mother of Elijah Bonoma, to sell on Thursday, May 31, 2019, and Friday, Thursday, May 30, and Friday, May 31, respectively. But went missing and did not return home. The missing children case was reported to the Liberian National Police on June 3, 2019. After being informed of the missing children, the Liberian National Police launched a massive search for the missing children with the support of the Kingsville community and discovered their dead bodies on the outskirts of Kingsville Township number seven in a community called Over Corner. A 50-man coroner jury was set up to conduct inquest on the two victims' bodies and came up with findings of foul play in the death of the two kids. She's Deputy Police Inspector General she had there to reach there. Well, away from Liberia, now South Sudan's President Savakia has apologized to civil servants who went without salaries for several months. A radio station in Dubai quotes him as saying, Mr. Kia said the failure to pay the money was caused by weak governance in the departments that are supposed to raise funds and pledge to personally get involved in the issue. Last month, the finance minister was unable to present the annual budget because MPs worked out over the salary issue, Reuters news agency reported at that time. The 18th anniversary of independence in South Sudan is not being marked with big celebration as there are shortage of money, the information minister told Juba I Radio on Monday. Well, on that foreign note, that's how we go home on this edition of KMTV News Update. For more news and information, you can visit our website at www.kmtvlibu.com for more news and information. Until then, my name is Anthony Kukui.